Welcome to the third vlog. Um, we have a uh, Hyundai in today for uh, full valet and two cigarette burn holes to be repaired on the passenger seat. Now, as you can see, I just wanted to give you an idea of the state of the car on arrival. Um, openly admitted by the customer, it was a long time since it was it was cleaned. As you can see, a lot of brake dust on the um, on the wheels, a lot of dirt. As I open the door, you'll see the seat with the two burn holes in. Now, pretty much, you can see the state of the, the seat with all the stains on. There's no point in repairing those, he um, those holes with the condition of the seat. So hence, the customer opted to get um, the full valet as well as. Um, so he is just a few um, I was going to say pictures but here's a video of the inside of the car and the state of um, the car as it came in so thank you hope you enjoy this next um, vlog again just to give you an idea of one of another well on this case two of the services that I offer um, and as you see by the, the, the timeline and as I try to, to get it through I can't fit everything in so hence the timeline but it bewilders me how these companies on the side of the street say that they can clean your car um, for 3 to £10 pound, even £15, £20 it took me 6 hours in total to clean this car and to me, that's what it's all about. If you want a professional job doing, ask the professional guys to do it. There is a lot of professional detailers out there um, who know about this industry, who know about uh, cleaning cars. So, yeah, a big thumbs up. If you want your car looked after, them are the guys to see. stage after I've done the wheels is I'm going to pressure wash all the loose dirt off then I'm going to do all the inside door checks 
um, cleaning with all purpose cleaner taking all the mats out of um, the footwells and the boot Next is all the window seals, um, the light seals, basically all the nuts and crannies with a detail brush and all purpose cleaner. And next up is the snow foam that's left to dwell to agitate all the, the dirt that's left on the car. And while that's dwelling and cleaning and fresh washing the floor mats. Now just fresh washing all that um, snow foam off and then over to the two booklet method. <laughs> This two bucket method um, stage has been completed. I'm then going to move on to the tar. Now, the tar remover um, is a safe way of obviously moving the tar spots that's in and around the car. Once the tar spots has been done, you'll see me pressure wash around the car just to get that um, loose tar off, and then it's over to the iron remover. And what iron that um, that's on your car is generally from your brake pads and discs and um, if you live near railways it can be even more accessible over your car um, and then that's left to agitate and then you'll see as I take the camera off the tripod I'm just going to go over and show you what kind of um, reaction this has on your car and you see the purple spots and all that is the reaction to the iron fallout that's on your car and believe me that's on every car now these are the things that you can't really see when you wash your car but these have an effect when you wash your car with a general sponge and people who's uneducated this is what generally causes a lot of swirl marks and scratches and then it's then pressure washed off and as you see my next stage is I'm using the next form of contamination remover is the clear bar once I finish this stage I'll come up to the camera and show you so the car's been washed APC cleaner it's been snow formed it's been two bucket method washed pressure washed again it's then had tar remover then it's had a fallout remover of the iron and now it's on to the clear bar and you'll see as I come to to the end of the clear bar you'll see the contamination that's left are still being removed from the clear bar and just look at that then it's a final wash over with the snow foam and then rinse and then it'll be brought in to the unit to get dried. I just wanted to show you the Vapor Gene. Um, 
absolutely fantastic product I've got a couple of videos on it I'm not going to go into it too far but I'm using one machine that's to vacuum um, to steam and extract all in one I'll try and capture as much as I can um, but it's a bit difficult while you're in and out of the car but hope you enjoy one of the beauty things about the vapor jink is it's got a it's got an on and off button at the handle so you can switch it on and off you'll not hear as once it goes on because the vacuum will be on and there's five settings that's one two three four Hey guys, over in the first stage is done. Just taking the crevice tool off and now ready for steam. No chemicals used yet, um, and all I'm going to use uh, to clean is an all purpose cleaner. Right now, some all-purpose cleaner right around there, all the plastics, door cards, um, once that's been done, blow dry right the way through, hoover again, um, and then it's time for the seats. Right guys, now for the seats, APC, a brush and the vapor gene. Battery's going to run out, so unfortunately I'm not going to get much more footage of inside, but I'll recharge the battery and then show you around when it's done. Cheers. Right guys, time for the cigarette burns on the... Um on the passenger seat. I know it's hard to see here and here. I've had to clean this, obviously cleaning the, um, the interior. It's a necessity to clean the seat before you get cigarette burns repaired. Um, so very important. I also want to point out that this is purely a smart repair. This is designed to take the eye away from the holes. If somebody's after a 100% repair, well that's where you'd need to get in touch with a car trimmer and they would unstitch the panel out and they would restitch a new panel in. But this is just to showcase what actually can be achieved by a smart repair.
here we have the finished car guys all cleaned the interior the exterior and two cigarette burns repaired in the front passenger seat now it's going to be a little bit rushed it's not the best footage guys just the customer turned up a little bit um, earlier than expected and was it was in a bit of a rush to get the car back but as you can see as I go around the car all nice and clean holes repaired in the seat the footage is as I say is not great the light and I couldn't get uh, set up quickly enough um, so I could get some good shots of the car but gives you an idea of the kind of standard that a, that a full interior clean gets when it comes to premier smart repairs thanks for watching guys please subscribe give the thumbs up any comments um is also welcome good or bad um but hope you enjoy watching the video thank you very much